Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, this time with some more little automation to improve your base. And to be exact, we are going to filter gases a lot cheaper than you can actually do with the gas filter this, uh, the vanilla game provides you with. Uh, this one would consume 120 watts, we are talking about a lot of uh, power here, so we don't want to spend that for just filtering gases. Um, I've set up a little testing uh, area here, as you can see we are feeding clean water into uh, two electrolyzers and we have four gas pumps in the same room. As you can see the oxygen will go to the bottom because it's heavier than hydrogen and the hydrogen will, will end, up, end up on top eventually. And because of that we are uh, pumping both hydrogen and oxygen at the same time at the same time with the top pumps. You can also see that in the exit there's little elements of hydrogen into this these gas pipes. And we want to filter that because we later on are going to use the gases for different purposes of course. So we could just use the regular gas filter but instead you can go with uh, some filtering with just gas shutoffs. Uh, the gas shutoffs only consume 10 watts each, so basically instead of the 120 watts from the filter we are paying 20 watts only here for two gas shutoffs. But for that we require a little automation as you can see here the key part is the gas pipe element sensor. I've set that to hydrogen and that's gonna be the first gas that's gonna be emitted by this gas shutoff. So basically every time uh, the gas pipe element sensor detects hydrogen, the first gas sh shutoff will open and yeah, basically all the uh, hydrogen gases will be pumped through this, through these pipes. And in any other case, because we are just having two gases in this room, it is sealed and there can only be hydrogen and oxygen. We are just using a NOT gate and so to say in every other case we just open up the other gas shot off and therefore um, pump the gases in the top room. So as you can see in the gas pipe layout here, uh, the gases are perfectly filtered. There's no situation where they could actually uh, mix up again and that is because this is a very clean method and very stable method to filter your gases. Um, even if for instance your input would back up to the beginning because not all the gases could be filtered at the same time, the, si the entire system would stop in that case. So no wrong filters or no incorrect filtering is going on. The only little issue here is that one of the outputs is blocked because not all the gases can be consumed. Uh, also the first output would stop in that case. So for instance if you can't make use of all the, hydro uh, all the oxygen here, eventually the oxygen exit or output will back up and in that, and in that situation also no hydrogen will be received by this filter. So basically the entire system would back up and stop. You can actually e easily use that to filter more gases. I've created a little different setup over here as well. As you can see there's four different gases in this room and pretty much some kind of a chaos specifically in the center of this little room there's oxygen, there's polluted oxygen, there's natural gas and even at the bottom some elements of carbon dioxide. And we are basically using three pumps and they all feed into the same gas pumps or gas pipes and at the end we have uh, set up the exact same layout. I'm just gonna start this so you can see there's chaos in, in these pipes, there's every element, uh, but we are just having multiple gas shutoffs in a row here. So every time the first element sensor is set up to, I think it is oxygen, yeah, oxygen will be um, released to the first little room here. Then after that we have polluted oxygen, it will be fed into this room 
And then the third gas would be carbon dioxide, would be fed in this room. And lastly, we have natural gas. This will end up in this room. So we basically have a very clean filter here that will uh, filter your gases easily. So a pretty good method to make use of. Maybe one last thing to that. Um, you will need some output after the last uh, gas shutoff. So basically the system will never uh, back up. So every gas that you are not going to filter will just end up here at the, bot uh, at the top. So this system will constantly run and is very stable in this situation. So I think this is pretty much it to this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I would appreciate if you guys consider to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.